What is my opinion on Dr. Brian Artis? I've had a lot of people ask me this question. They sent me links to these videos here, and um, I watched them with an open mind. I considered what was being said and everything, did a little bit of my own research into the issue, and uh, some pretty interesting things there. I'll say a little bit more here as we continue, but this is on the Rumble here, this documentary about what the whole you know pandemic thing's all about can't say a whole lot here on YouTube if you know what I mean um, but this one here was eh, okay I'm not a big fan of Stu Peters but this over here with Mike Adams where he was actually showing the documents and things part one part two and I'm not sure where part three's at but much better uh, really interesting um, stuff there so but uh, the statement that ties in cobra and crate venom to the you know scandemic um, has anybody else come up with that I mean is this guy just some kind of a nut or whatever else uh, well check this out here we have back in January 24th of 2020 this is channel 7 in Detroit 622,000 subscribers Coronavirus update, scientists trace outbreak to Chinese snakes. Okay, it says a second person in the United States has been infected with the deadly coronavirus that is believed to have originated in Wuhan, China. The Center for Disease Control confirmed Friday morning. This is back when they were still, we're not sure, you know, it wasn't really on anybody's radar back then. This, they didn't think it was going to turn into a big issue, you know, and um, so watch what they say here, okay. Very interesting. Dr. Partha Nandy joins us now with more on the coronavirus outbreak. So, Doc, what can you tell us about the case in Chicago and what about other possible infections? So, Dave, Illinois health officials confirmed that there is a second case of this coronavirus here in the U.S. The patient is a woman in her 60s. She, she visited Wuhan, China back in December and returned home in Chicago on January 13th. She's reported to be in stable condition as, and is being closely monitored. The good news is that she reportedly did not use public transportation and did not have symptoms when flying. As for other cases, the CDC is monitoring 63 other possible infections across 22 states, but it's, they're still saying that the immediate risk to the general public is low. So Before they hyped it. Okay, now listen to what this woman says. So, Doc, is there a vaccine? Heather, no, there is not a vaccine for the 2019 it's NCOV virus. And there is no specific treatment either. You know, patients like the one in Chicago, uh, she'll receive supportive care. But I mentioned to you that Purdue University scientists had analyzed the genome of the virus, and they've also been working on develop va developing vaccines to fight the coronavirus, which they hope to test their potential drug molecules on the Huan coronavirus very soon. In the meantime, I want to say this again because I want you to rem remember this. You know, wash your hands often, especially when you're out in public. It's a simple step that you can do and really helps to stop the spread of germs. And, Doctor, we're hearing about this outbreak being linked to snakes. How so? So, yeah, Dave, uh, Chinese scientists have analyzed the genetic sequence of the virus, and it, and it really appears that snakes like the Chinese crate and the Chinese cobra may be the source of the deadly coronavirus. They concluded this after identifying that, that the 2019 NCOV was a mix or recombination of two coronaviruses. One was known to infect bats, but the other had origin that was unknown. After considering other animal hosts, scientists concluded that it may have come from snakes. Now, it's rare that coronaviruses jump from animals to people, but it is possible. In fact, Purdue University scientists say that the virus actually is genetically similar to the SARS variant, which you may remember back in 2002 killed over 750 people after it evolved to infect humans. Concerning stuff indeed. Dr. Nandy, thank you for the information. My so, very interesting that they were actually talking about that early on in this whole thing. Hmm. Um, so what do I think about that? Well, let me show you what the scripture says. First Corinthians chapter 13, you go down here to verse 4. Charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up. Doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, <clears throat> but rejoiceth in the truth. Okay. 
I rejoice in the truth. So when I see things and I see some aspects of truth in it, and I start to look into it myself, and I say, yeah, that looks like that's what it was, this whole thing. Um, I rejoice in the truth. That's what I do. Um, does that mean I agree with everything that Mike Adams says or everything that Dr. Brian Artis says or anybody else? No, I don't agree with everything that they say. But as a Christian, I need to look for truth. And I need to pray about things and, and see how things work out. And if things confirm my beliefs according to the scriptures, that I have control over my body, and I'm not going to put poison into my body, okay. Enough said. I don't need to look any more into it, whatever else. Uh, so my opinion on what was said by Dr. Brian Artis, uh, after watching a lot of the videos and things, yeah, I agree with him. I think a lot of what he said is right. I really do. Um, I'll rejoice in the truth. I sort other things out and whatever else. But just found that interesting. Oh, he's a conspiracy theorist and a nut, but yet the original uh, thing that they were saying was that it came from snakes. Cobra and crate. Hmm. Very interesting.